Hello everybody, Robin here at Toadstool Tarot, your resident card curmudgeon. And I have learned through trial and error, and I'm still learning every day, what works for me in terms of building my own deck collection. This uh, little uh, video is called Check Your Checklist on Deck Collecting. Are you ultimately happy with all the decks in your collection? Tastes do change over time, but if you find yourself rehoming decks in your collection, maybe it's time to consider a deck purchasing checklist. Consider your wants and needs when creating your list. Number one. Do you have shelf or storage space for a new deck? Number two, can you afford a new deck or will the expenditure adversely affect your other needs and responsibilities? Is it a good value? Is the price worth the value from your point of view? Number three, have you seen all the cards already in a prior walkthrough and do any of them dissatisfy you to the extent that you might find yourself not reaching for the deck once it's in your possession? Maybe better to wait for one, another one. Uh, number four, is the deck in a system that you're already comfortable using or are determined beyond reasonable doubt that you're willing to make the commitment to investing time and effort to learn? Number five, are the cards packaged in a way you like? Or do you have a storage alternative you know you'll be content with? And maybe you don't like the tuck box, but do you have a bag or a tin or some other way of storing that you're okay with? Or are you going to grouse every time you see that tuck box? Uh, number six, tactile considerations. Is the card size the card shape and the feel of the card one that you're comfortable with. Is the finish glossy? Is it matte? Is it rose petal? The thickness of the card? The sharpness of the edges of the cards? How will they feel to work with? How will they shuffle? Working with cards is a tactile experience. They need to feel good when you work with them, or you may not be tempted to pull and work with them at all. Number seven, do the cards have labels or design aspects that you don't like? This includes things like borders and edging considerations. Is modding a deck something you'll have to do and will you enjoy that, or is it better to leave it as the artist intended, pass, it, uh, pass on its purchase, and await for a deck to come along that more perfectly fills and fits your tastes and needs? Just because a deck uh, doesn't have the borders or the edging or, or format that you like doesn't mean that you have to make it conform to you. Maybe there's a better deck coming along later down the line that will work better. Or maybe you get great joy out of modding. Make sure that you do. Um, in that case, go ahead, you know, but be sure about it. Number eight, do you already own a deck that better fills those needs? Number nine, FOMO, fear of missing out. 
Are you simply buying a deck for fear of missing out due to its availability? <coughs> Maybe it's a limited run, limited edition. If it doesn't check all the boxes on your list, are you going to be content just keeping up with the Joneses on a deck you know in your heart ultimately won't work for you? Number 10, you may have other considerations I haven't addressed. Add them to your checklist. Check your list and check it twice. If you have doubts, walk away. Perhaps re-watch those walkthroughs on other channels and reevaluate your position. If it's just the temptation driving you and overriding the points in your checklist, then step aside for now. It's probably not meant for you. Be honest with yourself. Journal on it. Talk with others, but make your point of contention clear and don't be dissuaded from your position if your feelings are strong. Revisit the decks already in your collection and spend more time with them or find out why you're not spending time with them. If you can comfortably go without the deck for a day or more, maybe the draw of attraction isn't strong enough to warrant its purchase. Things always look different the next day. Considering all the points before adding a deck to your collection will happily result in a well-considered collection that will make and keep you content and happy with decks that will be well used and will serve you in the long run. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for spending time with me and uh, I hope you adopt some of these practices and create your own checklist. Only you know what will or won't work for you. Why waste the time and money if, if it's not something that you're going to use, you know? I will see you all again soon. So long.